So I recently made a video, things that gun people are tired of hearing other gun people say, and a lot of y'all really liked it. Uh, one thing I wanted to touch on more though, because it came up in the comments uh, a few times, is the cops and military aren't gun people by default. Um, I stand by that, and I stand by that in case you missed it in the other video, as a veteran, as somebody that spent some time in military law enforcement, as somebody that has friends that are law enforcement, there's a reason for that. And that's not disrespectful. If you think that telling the truth is disrespectful, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, cops and military are assigned one set of parameters, right? So their duty gun is going to be their duty gun. This is a M9A3 similar to the m9 that i had in the military except it's not because i have a red dot and a light and it's a much improved version so you get issued a gun uh, with some police departments you may have several choices of firearms and then from there you are expected to meet some minimum proficiency standards with that firearm your exposure to guns outside of your job is going to be dependent upon you as an individual so much like me what i shoot what i learn about is up to me same thing with cops and military so gun experts authority figures on guns are often not there because of their job right so you want proof of that look at the atf look at uh, the federal government at large that passes the laws that we have pertaining to firearms um, would you consider any of them gun experts no not by their job alone right if they are it is because they have made it a personal mission to become knowledgeable and or maybe both proficient with firearms it's not something they got because that's their job even though in that case they they owe it to their constituents to uh, learn about these things so it wasn't a disrespect thing it was purely an observation i have made that doesn't mean that there's not cops and military guys that know way more than firearms than me or you or whatever because there are uh, and there always will be but they didn't get there from their job now if you want to get into tactics and things like that again from the standpoint of civilian self-defense i would argue that no it doesn't really matter um maybe room clearing to an extent but if your room clearing is predicated upon having a team helping you uh probably doesn't apply to most of us right it might be your spouse or roommate or maybe your adult children if they're still at home again probably not relevant so everything does that mean that, that being a cop or military is bad no does that mean i don't like those people no what it means is stop making up qualifiers for knowledge and proficiency that quite frankly don't they don't they don't hold water um and this one's going to piss people off. That's why I'm just sitting here like, uh, what am I doing? But it, it's true, and I stand by it. So if you are uh, law enforcement or military, I don't disrespect you for doing those jobs. Um, but if you are law enforcement or military and you hold yourself out there as some sort of authority on weapons solely based on your job description, I think that's a bit disingenuous. Not saying you can't be an authority on the subject, but your police academy, your boot camp, your A school, your infantry training whatever uh, did not teach you about things you did not necessarily learn about glocks and things like that uh, in the navy you did not n learn about scars uh, well maybe you did if you're special forces but you did not learn about those sorts of things uh, in the military you didn't learn about 357 magnums for self-defense uh, in police academy so there you go just, just be honest. This comes down to just honesty and transparency, right? Like, I'm the first to admit I'm not an expert. Anybody that calls me such has extremely low standards for that title. But the knowledge I got uh, comes from exposure to firearms, whether growing up, shooting different things that I have continued to shoot now, or just shoot, getting hands-on a lot of different things and playing with it and talking to people and researching and pointless Google searches at 3 in the morning when I can't sleep. That's what gives me the info that I then pass on to you guys. So there is that. So no, no butt hurtedness over this, please, because there's no need to be. Honesty, transparency, that's all it is. And if you're a cop or military or whatever, good on you. Stay safe out there. Remember, uh, the training you get may not be all the training you need. So 
Don't be afraid to ask for more. And if it won't give it to you, don't be afraid to seek it out on your own. We all have more to learn. So stay safe, guys. Keep learning and keep shooting. And I'll see you next time.